So we have completed our morning task. Mom needed some help in lifting the old AC so she can drive it, deposit it, so to speak, at the local dump. And we are going for a walk home. This one hasn't pee and I, I don't know if she will because usually she has a bladder, shy, shy bladder, bladder shy condition when she comes to, oh no, oh thank god. Because immediately when we came, we went for a quick walk around uh, Malitark small. Kaze, Uredo. Uh, small square, Malitark means. And so, yeah, and she didn't want to go. And now, of course, now she's watching mom. But we are going home. So one of the, let's say, coolest looking coolest looking uh, buildings and with a, quite a interesting history is this one. So this was built, I would say 19th century, even, yeah, most likely. Don't hold me accountable for dates because I haven't checked it. But this was uh, first built by the municipality as a public bathhouse. So, you know, in those days you didn't have, you know, like uh, showers and beds. Well, just the rich one. So people came here. I will explain later what that means. So, people came here to get cleaned. And then, this was still in the effect in the 20th century. But then, they, because, you know, the modernization went ahead. And they did needed not, they, the, the customers our castle so and there were no more customers so they switched and they went to another um, way of supporting Lizzie Gripa Midwatuki and they um, basically closed down the beds and when I was a kid it was already well known pizzeria so yeah, Napoli. And this was going for quite some time and then the uh, pizzeria closed and this is one of the uh, courthouse. It's well courthouse. It's not literally courthouse. It's a building, one of the building which the local court is present so as you can see Okraino Sudishche v Ljubljani which is basically local court in Ljubljana then we have like then we have a, like a district court and then we have uh, superior court and we will see them both we will go in other direction that I meant but I will show you so back to the Napoli so I think I was in, in university already when they closed down and then the municipality decided to once more use it for you know public service 
and they establish in it um, Mestno Igrišče, as you could see on the building itself. And now it is basically a short-term daycare. So basically the idea is if you, uh, you know, if you have a kid but you want to go shopping in the city center, you can leave your kid, you know, for hour to hour there and they will take a look after him, her, it, whatever. And yeah. Lizit Lele Zelena. And so yeah, they established, let's say, uh, you know, indoor playground for kids, which is quite useful when, you know, during the winter or when it's raining. So this is Miklosicheva, and there is another church and the green lights. Yeah. The pink uh, church, I have already shown it in the other videos. And I, I think I already made a video regarding this square or park. Well, it's square with park officially. And that large building on the other side of the park and the street is so called judicial palace and it currently housed the district and the superior court so the le level 2 and level 3 courts here in Slovenia oh uh, finally fridna lulala yeah but you can see you, so you have some homeless people so when was a kid, when I was a kid, this park was known for homeless people. Now you can see, you know, one, but when I was a kid, kid you know, all these uh, benches were always occupied by them. And people basically didn't like to walk around here. So yeah. We will not go across the street because we need to go, go home. Because we have stuff to do. But here is the better view of the palace. So it's old building already built in time of Austro-Hungary. And it's basically quite large, you know. Uh, let's say one city block the americans would say no pretty easy entrance to the subterranean parking house lisa yeah it was it's quite it has been quite some time since we came into the city with Lisa you know since TJ yeah basically almost two years you know when TJ started to get you know worse and couldn't walk we didn't went anymore plus then uh, mom didn't uh, work on Saturdays any uh, so she stopped working on Saturdays which mean we didn't went to see her and to walk her home. So, Echo, you can see how large the palace is. And we are just going, enjoying the local architecture. So, yeah. Uh, this is everything that was built in 19th century or even further but I believe it's 19th century 
I don't see any <clears throat> any um, years usually oh 1903 okay Alois Vodnik okay so 20th century but I believe this was yeah it could be let's say 19 to 20th century I'm looking so you have I love this door you know heavy messy wooden door Lisa knows where to go after all this time she still knows and this is let's say the main road that passes through the city center Slovenska road and what we have shoes gold gold shop well they buy gold another what is that high fashion and a barber so yeah Turkish Airlines headquarters were well, headquarters local so we have to go here to go to home but if you go in that direction you can you will end up near my faculty so yeah let's stop it here and we'll continue later